Thanos is returning to the MCU, very likely going to be working with Robert Downey Jr.'s Dr. Doom. Ah! We're all gonna die! Ah! In this video, I wanna talk about all the different teases and hints that insiders have been dropping to us recently. But then at the end of this video, I wanna explain why this is so cool. Because some people might be like, wait, what? They're doing Thanos again? That seems so weird. And it's weird to do Thanos when you're doing Doom. What the hell? There's actually one specific reason that the Russos are going to do this. And I actually think it's brilliant. So we're gonna talk about that at the end of the video. So first up, what am I even talking about with regards to Thanos? Well, I will remind you that My Time to Shine Hello has been teasing the return of Thanos a lot recently recently last week she said he will be returning soon and then she quote tweeted that later the next day saying way sooner than you think now i talked about this in another video last week but when i was told who aubrey plaza's character is in the agatha show i was also teased that thanos could be returning and that aubrey plaza playing the character of mistress death in the Agatha show could actually connect to Thanos. Now, to me, that's already freaking crazy, but then the Russo brothers themselves posted this photograph over the weekend. This is the Russo brothers with Robert Downey Jr. and with Josh Brolin, and they literally captioned this, Doom and Thanos walk into Lincoln Center. And the reason that that is crazy is because Josh Brolin said in an interview earlier this year, or maybe it was the end of last year, that he had heard through the grapevine that they were bringing Thanos back. You know, I hear kind of like through the grapevine that they're gonna bring him back, and there's the What If series, and that's a different kind of Thanos. And on top of all of the stuff that we just talked about, like the recent scooping, you know, the insiders talking about this, the Russos teasing this, remember that a couple of years ago there was a multiversal ride put into development for the disney parks and they showcased king thanos they had a version of thanos that won in his universe and he was this big multiversal threat the whole idea of the ride was that you were going to join with the marvel characters as you defeated king thanos now the production on that ride has stalled maybe that's just a development thing but it could also be to leave room for new stuff that they're going to be doing with iron man with dr doom and potentially even changing what they were going to do with thanos at d23 in august of this year they had a new look at king thanos available for marvel fans that's the one that's on the thumbnail i'm holding up the image up for you right here and man people loved this version of king thanos but it does look way more like a live action version of king thanos than one that would be built as you know designed for a ride and on top of all of that there are long-standing rumors both from alex perez and even daniel rpk that there would be secondary villains for dr doom in the doomsday film this is reportedly supposed to be very similar to what happened in infinity war with thanos coming down and having the black order basically a bunch of minions to be able to go around and fight other groups of avengers it seems like doomsday is going to be a very sprawling movie with a lot of vignettes probably like 50 60 70 characters on the call sheet like a lot of freaking characters and so there have been long-standing rumors that there was going to be other villains introduced to help dr doom basically do whatever he's trying to do and something else that some of the nerd vengers pointed out on one of our streams was that when anthony mackie was asked about robert downey jr's dr doom at comic-con this july he actually said something about doom's illuminati and that's kind of crazy it came out of nowhere but it could also be this like big rumor that all of the actors or a lot of different people at marvel studios know about but they're not talking about and in the comic books dr doom does assemble different evil groups of avengers and, and evil groups of characters are assembled for different secret wars events so in the general Jonathan Hickman's Secret Wars, there was a group called the Cabal. Technically, they didn't get Dr. Doom. Namor goes to recruit Dr. Doom to the Cabal, and he's like, bro, I'm nobody's second choice bitch and then dr doom refuses to join them but that group the cabal does go out and start destroying all kinds of worlds to try to save the multiverse they do end up surviving the collapse of everything showing up on battle world and they're major players in the events on battle world which conclude secret wars but alex press has even talked about the possibility of dark versions of the original avengers all assembling as a group right he said this in his most recent q a the discussions of having evil versions of Hulk, which would be like Maestro Hulk, evil version of Hawkeye, which would probably be like Ronan. A Hydra version of Captain America has been long standing as a rumor, and that could perfectly work for this Doom's Illuminati or Doom's Dark Avengers 
or whatever it is. And remember that there was a moment where Daniel RPK had talked about the introduction of a second villain in to the then Kang Dynasty storyline. And it seems like if you just look at all the timing here, it really does seem like that was going to be Thanos. So that's like all the evidence. That's like all the rumblings, all the stuff the insiders have said in a pretty significant breadcrumb trail, which I believe leads us to the conclusion that Thanos is definitely coming back. That's probably why the Russo brothers posted that freaking picture with Dr. Doom and Thanos walking into a bar. And, and also on a small side note, I am really interested in if the Russos do more of this, right? Back in the day when they were doing Infinity War and Endgame, that was like when leaks first started really popping off nowadays leaks are a huge part of the marvel community so i'm kind of watching them are they gonna be like, sort of cheeky with this stuff teasing us like this photo is really interesting man the timing of this would suggest that they are tapped in they know what's going on and they're teasing out something really freaking cool okay but why is this so cool right i hear some of you being like oh more thanos oh man they're bringing everybody back it's just they're so lame they're creatively bankrupt they're, they're just they're just breaking glass in case of emergency it's like palpatine and rise of skywalker all over again here's why this is so cool and here's why you need to let the russos cook the idea of thanos returning to earth would be an absolutely terrifying thing for every citizen every person in the world every hero every villain technically anybody in the universe would probably freak out if they heard that thanos was back this is a guy that was the main villain of the entire infinity saga and he wiped out half of the life in the universe and so by introducing king thanos or a variant of thanos that's going to be working for dr doom essentially you immediately get all of the characters to understand how terrifying this situation is it allows for a lot of the earthbound characters to be completely fixated on thanos as a threat and they're going to be like fighting him right like, they will be fighting against thanos some of them might have even been preparing for thanos coming back and then once everybody realizes that this version of thanos is subservient to another villain, that's gonna be crazy. Now, this is a very WWE thing where you're going to build up this villain by basically showing that this already awesome built up villain in Thanos is actually working for somebody else. Like who could possibly be so powerful that Thanos would work for somebody else? Well, I think Rabama Alal, the great destroyer, God, Emperor, Dr. Doom, it also allows for Thanos to try to essentially betray RDJ Dr. Doom at one point, and then we get that classic Jonathan Hickman Secret Wars panel with Dr. Doom ripping out the spine of Thanos. And I mean, even dialogue between Thanos and Doom is like fertile ground for all kinds of cool storytelling potential. These are two of the most interesting and powerful and intelligent villains in Marvel Comics period. And so any conversation between them would be very enlightening as far as what are their motivations, what's going on out there in the universe, why does Thanos feel that Doctor Doom is more powerful than him, and is Thanos actually trying to get more power himself to eventually overthrow Doctor Doom? Maybe this even allows for Thanos to have a rematch with Hulk if our 616 Bruce Banner like finally turns back into the Savage Hulk. There's just a lot of really cool potential here with Thanos being brought in. So there's like a ton of evidence that this is actually happening including even the russo brothers teasing it right in our face and i think there's all sorts of ways this could be super freaking cool man i'm so excited to be getting another version of thanos maybe one of the most powerful versions of thanos we've ever seen in avengers doomsday and hopefully in avengers secret wars of course let me know what you think about all these little updates and my explanation as to why i think it's so bad ask let me know in the comment section below and as i always say i hope you are having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video